Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Let's talk some mountain weather. And I want to take you to New Mexico where they got 13 inches in the last 24 hours at Taos. Looks like an absolutely spectacular day there. Those blue skies have emerged. Just great to see this. You definitely need the snow down there in northern New Mexico. And there's a little bit more in my forecast as well. I want to take you up to Killington here. This is where it's going to snow next. Um, you can see the view. It looks like a nice day so far, but a storm system is on the way. It's going to become a coastal storm, but it's going to kind of have a, a higher snow level, probably at about 3,000 feet initially, and then it will fall. So we're looking at snow, but at the higher elevations of the ski areas in northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, and northern Maine. I'll talk more about that coming up in just a few minutes. Let me show you my bullet points here. So we've got a northeast storm system late on the 26th into the 27th. Out west, we've got a high pressure ridge through the 29th. Then it will turn more active with a new pattern out west 1130 through about 12.5. I do expect potentially some nice snow, especially in a couple of places with some pockets of very heavy accumulation. We'll look at those with both jets being active and maybe even loaded up with moisture. So let me take you back and I want to show you what this looks like on the... Um, so this is the water vapor satellite imagery. Your oranges and reds are your drier air a lot, but your moisture is in the white and the blues. There's one big area of low pressure, and there is another one right there. And there's a low developing up here in the northeast as well. So here's the way this plays out. So big dip in the jet here. It's creating a high pressure ridge, though. Um, and there's your dip for that northeast storm. Across the, uh, the west, this high will develop. Uh, 26th through the 29th and, and basically dominate. But eventually these areas of low pressure will start to break that down and move in. And there's also going to be some activity coming in on the southern branches I'll show you in my forecast. So let me take you back here and show you what this is going to look like on the forecast radar and satellite. So by this afternoon, that's the setup. Again, mainly high pressure across the west, 27, 28, and into the 29th, we'll start to see things shift in California. So there's the 28th. Now watch California. Here comes a little cutoff low on the southern branch. Moves in, takes a southern track, and snows a little bit. I'll stop it here. This is the 30th in the morning. Snow through southern Utah, western and southwest Colorado, and northern New Mexico. And this little low right here mainly just helps to break down the pattern and set it up for the next big low coming out of the Pacific Northwest. And here it is, 12-1, much more active across all of the Intermountain West. And look at the North Pacific Northwest and BC getting slammed. So this is good to see. After some high pressure, we'll have more active weather after about the 29th or 30th moving into the West. And it'll affect pretty much all of the Intermountain West. All right, here's the jet stream set up here. And this is the 28th. Notice the big ridge in the, uh, in the jet all the way up into Canada. So that's your high pressure across the west. But look, there's a dip in the jet that's heading into California. That's going to bring that little southern track low that helps to kind of break down the pattern. Um, a little, uh, little further down the road, here's 12-1. A lot of energy sliding into the Pacific Northwest and BC dumped basically into the interior. You can see the dip in the little short wave coming through Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado at that point. And by the time we get to 12.5, a lot of the energy is moving away up into the northeast. You can see a lot of jet energy up in the northeast. But already another low pressure building out over the Pacific. You can see that dip in the jet out over the Pacific. So as far as snow totals go, we'll do this in a few different phases. Here's the um, forecast I've got through the 30th. Some very light snows with that southern track low through southern Utah, western and southwest Colorado, and northern New Mexico, and also up into the Pacific Northwest in California. Very light. So phase number two is much more active, 12.1 through 12.5, about a foot for the Wasatch, uh, about a foot in parts of Colorado. We'll call it uh, 6 to 12, maybe 6 to 13. And again, this comes in a couple of different waves, not all at once. Over a foot potentially for the Teton, some nice snow for Idaho. I like seeing that. And one to two feet, maybe more up in the Pacific Northwest from Bachelor all the way up to Whistler. Again, that, pow that pattern could be, uh, could be uh, pretty hefty up there with that jet coming in. All right, here's another one. Uh, this is a uh, specialty map zooming into Colorado, the central and northern mountain zones. Again, about a foot, um, a little less on the Condor Divide East, but love seeing this. This is the 27th through the 4th. Um, and uh, one more stop. Let's go to the northeast, 27th through the 4th. So again, snow late tonight into the 27th, northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, northern Maine, high snow levels, rain in the valleys. Then there may be another couple of small storm systems down the road that could drop some very light accumulations, but always like seeing this. Enjoy that, uh, that powder up there at the higher elevations of the Northeast. Guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it, and take care.